Red smoke filled the air. It rolled across the ground and through the surrounding trees like a lazy, arrogant monster. The lethargic movements of a creature well fed. The smoke filled Velveeta's lungs, making it difficult for her to breathe. Valthanar used to tell her that the puffs of smoke were little ghosts of what had once been flame. Tonight, it was more than fire that had joined the realm of spirits. Velveeta looked down at the burned and bloodied corpse at her feet. The body of the strong, noble elf who had once been her father. Now he lay in a ruined heap on the ground. His side was torn open to reveal the meat and bone of his ribcage. The ground around him was soaked in a ruby shadow that mimicked the fire with little red flames of its own. You brought this fate upon yourself. Velveeta coughed as she said the words, spitting out a large glob of blood. Her battle with Vothanar had been brutal. The power that they had thrown at each other was enough to rival the might of a dragon. The only thing that had held either of them back was the fear of hurting the young elf boy that Valthanar had enchanted with sleep and placed in a warded nook among the trees. Velveeta had given him the time to do this. She didn't want to hurt Alex any more than Valthanar did. Daddy? Velveeta whirled around to face the child. The spell had faded away now that Valthanar was dead. Velveeta hurried over to him. She hoped he hadn't yet noticed the corpse. Your daddy isn't here right now, Vivita said soothingly. Go to sleep. She added a hint of calming power to her words and watched as his eyelids drooped slightly. But I want daddy, he said, even as his eyelids slid a little lower over his eyes. Not right now, Vivita said. Rest. The tiny boy, no more than three moon rotations old, curled up in her arms for comfort and began sucking his thumb his little round cheeks pumping like miniature bellows. Velveeta raised a hand and gently tucked a tiny golden curl behind his ear as she began singing an old lullaby, one taught to her by the elf she left dead in the dust behind her. Don't be afraid of the shadow moon For I'll be there to hold you don't run away from the lightning. In safety I'll enfold you. My precious child, I'll keep you here. You'll never come to harm. Don't quake, my baby darling. There's no need for alarm I'll be your shield forever So you'll never live in fear I'm your daddy, precious child And you're my little dear Velveeta choked out the last words as they left her mouth, feeling the pain keenly in her heart. She hadn't hated Valthanar. If only he had trusted her, then this wouldn't have happened. Instead, he had made an enemy of his own daughter. He had thrust her from him for making decisions that she had known to be right, decisions that she hadn't made lightly. She wraps her arms more tightly around Alex's tiny body and whispered softly in his ear, I'll always be on your side, little brother. A tear fell from her eye and landed on his cheek. He stirred slightly, but she wiped it off with her hair before it woke him up. I'll keep you safe. I promise. Hi guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the prologue to The Golden Bow. Um, if you want to hear the rest of the story, go ahead and follow me on Patreon. And I'm going to be releasing a chapter every one to two weeks on there for you guys. So again, thank you for watching and keep being awesome.